Well, hello my friends. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sean Petit, a mixed media artist. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you are here. Um, today is a special day because today starts birthday week and usually I don't talk before my videos. I'm usually at the end and that kind of thing, but today is a special day because it's the eighth annual birthday week um, that I'll be having on my website and I wanted to just quickly pop in and tell you about all the fun and exciting things that are happening this week. Um, it's a great time. There's lots of freebies and all kinds of good stuff all throughout the week. So <clears throat> starting today, Sunday the 9th, um, all stencils will be 25% off. So if there's been a few that you've been thinking about, grab them now because this is my biggest sale of the year. I don't do any other discounts like this at any other time. So um, grab your stencils today. Um, so that's Sunday the 9th, 25% um, off all stencils. And then Monday the 10th, prints will be 30% off. And that's all prints. That's prints on wood. So I just want to show you real quick. Um, this is a 4x6, 5x7. 8 by 10 and then this is an 11 by 14 and um, so the prints on wood as well as the prints to be framed and so here I've got this is a print to be framed and you can also see right behind me all of these are prints that I have framed. It, it comes on a ink, ink uh, fast, light fast <laughs> paper that is 65 pounds. It's wonderful bright white quality paper. Um, so all of the prints will be 30% um, off <clears throat> on Monday. And so grab your gifts now. I can't tell you how many people buy their Christmas and teacher, I don't know about teacher this year, teacher gifts, um, different things like that during this sale and then they give them out throughout the year. So think about all the gifts, birthdays, all that kinds of stuff because 30% off is a great, great deal. If you're in the U.S., it's free shipping on everything. So um, then Tuesday the 11th, originals and collage packs are 50% off. So any of my originals that are left in the shop are 50% off and I've got some good ones. Um, and a lot of a lot of my collectors I know wait till this time to um, shop. So um, if you're thinking about anything or have an inkling for something, don't wait too long because things go super, super fast during the sale. So, and then on Wednesday the 12th, all my workshops are going to be 50% off, except for the newest one, which is the Journal Journey Workshop. That will not be on sale because it is new, but all the rest will be 50% off. And these run for 24 hours for one day. Um, so make sure to not miss it. Um, there are so, so often people are like, Did, I, I missed it. And that's, you gotta, when you see it, you gotta get to whatever item that you're looking for and purchase. Um, and then daily giveaways. I'm going to have daily giveaways on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm, it, it's going to be kind of a draw kind of thing. So you'll see once I start announcing it. But I'll have different items. Maybe a stencil. Maybe a print on wood. Maybe a print to be framed. Maybe an original. Maybe a collage pack. Um, it just depends. And I'll have giveaways throughout the day where you can um, put your name in a slot. And then if I draw that number, you get the, the prize. And um, then I'll have, uh, on top of that, I'm going to have pop-up freebie, freebies throughout the days in the shop. So I will have, I'll post in the morning like three sets of prints um, free, just pay the shipping of $6 or something like that. So um, lots of fun, fun things to do um, during that week. There'll be some additional videos and stuff like that. So um, 
I hope that you have fun. I hope that you grab some goodies and things like that. Oh, one thing I wanted to say really quick. On the 50% off the originals and the collage packs, um, it's instant download collage packs only, not the printed. The printed are very actually very expensive for us. So um, it's only on the download. So 50% off on those. Um, there'll be a lot of freebies in the resource library as well during the week. So all kinds of fun stuff happening. Um, starting today, the day that you watch this video, Sunday, August 9th through um, Wednesday, August 12th. Birthday, birthday extravaganza. So um, I hope that you have a chance to get into the shop and find some fun things um, to uh, get. And then I just want to show you really quick. This is what we are going to be creating today. And um, I typically will have a message or a talk and this really is just for you. This is going to be free in the resource library. Uh, the um, It'll be a six by six print of this piece in the resource library for you to print out and frame for yourself. This original also will be um, available in the 50% off um, sale. So uh, you can grab that as well. So my loves, I think I have said everything that I need to say with regards to the sale and I just um, I want to be able to give you lots of free goodies and and really I want to say thank you. Thank you for your amazing support over the years. I can't believe it's been eight years and um, I'm just I'm incredibly grateful and try to give as much as I can back that you give to me. Your love and your support mean um, so much and I am just always, always grateful. All right, I'm going to stop talking and we'll get creating. All right, so here's the supplies that we'll be using today, some fun ones. Um, and I am starting this project on a 12 by 12 MDF board. And I am laying down just some papers that I pulled from the stash that were laying around um, and just put them down with my Liquitex Fluid Map Medium. Got a good coverage top and bottom. And now I'm going to start the first layering process. I'm just getting my background down. And I'm doing this a little bit different than I typically um, do. Um, and I'm not even thinking about the papers underneath, to be honest. All I really wanted the papers for were texture, and hopefully some of them would peek through. So I'm kind of just laying out my layout right now, and you'll see as we progress that I kind of, I, I go back and forth because I'm not exactly sure um, what I want as far as colors. I have an idea for the flower arrangement, um, but, I'm still not real sure as to how it's all going to come together. So you'll see me kind of work the layers back and forth a few times um, before I really kind of land on what I like. These are all the DecoArt Media um, paints that I used in last week's video. I'm truly digging on those. And I added a few Lucas paints in there, but I love them because they're super matte and they add just a really fun texture. So I knew I wanted stripes on my tablecloth, and this is how it started. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't think I like them. Um, and then I knew that I wanted some fun kind of whimsical pattern because I wanted this to be really fun um, and a little lighthearted um, kind of, well, not maybe not lighthearted, just happy. And so that's why I went with the circles. And then some numbers in the background. I love numbers. Numbers are always a thing. This is the big bold um, numbers. The other stencil was the doodle circles stencil, um, but just really playing, getting kind of a playful background. Um, that's kind of why I went with the stripes and I hate those stripes that I put down. Um, so now I'm just using my charcoal pencil and I'm laying out my, my design. I, I wanted it to be real loose and I wanted to not, I, I wanted the leaves in the background. I wanted to put the leaves down first and get them drippy and messy and very um, abstract and then bring in the definition with my pencil and paints. 
And so that's my process. Um, and again, I'm just kind of having fun here, making marks and scratching in. And those scratches make such a big difference in the texture of your piece. And so I'm starting to lay in the leaves and they, they're gonna look really funky at first because it, I, I want it shaped, but not really because I wanted to really kind of water them down and get them all messy and really have them just be the backdrop and then come back in and add to them to de define them. And so I'm, I'm kind of feeling my way through this because this is not typically how I do things, but I wanted to try something new and be playful and have fun and um, step outside my comfort zone. And this was definitely outside my comfort zone. And so I'm going to start trying to define the leaves a little bit, not a whole lot just yet, um, with some of my paint. And now I'm going to start laying in my flowers and I'm laying in my flowers the same way without all the drippiness, but I wanted that background to be dark because I knew I was going to add a lot of layers to it. So this is a Nova color and oh my goodness, the Nova color colors are fantastic. I got maybe just five jars cause I wasn't sure. And like I need more paint, but, um, I love the colors. They are fantastic. And I'll do a, a review on those uh, soon hopefully um, but I'm just kind of laying in where I want the flowers and then I'm going to come back in and start adding the color and the definition and I always start dark and add and go lighter as I move up I try to work wet on wet um, because it helps the paint blend together and it has a very um, artistic feel it um, gives you some unpredictability um, which I love because sometimes when you're super planned out things just you know they look very stiff and that's not what I wanted for this piece and so I will work wet on wet until I know that I'm I'm at a place where I need to have specific definition and then I will dry and I'm doing a lot of color mixing myself um, which I love to do. I'm mixing the Nova colors and um, just I'm really just playing and having fun and I will go back and forth a few times on the flowers to you know kind of get them to where I want them to be. I'm using gesso as my white and the, the reds are all Nova color. The other colors in the background where deco art, the yellow is Lucas paint. So I've got a little bit of everything going on there. And so now I'm trying, I'm bringing, I'm using um, white and grays and I'm, I'm really focusing on details and where the light source might be, where I might see some light reflection, that kind of thing. Um, but trying to do it very um, messily and not real um, defined because I want to use my definition. I want to put definition in with my charcoal pencil and my soft pastels. And you can see how I'm holding my brush. I'm trying to hold it very loosely so that I don't have that really defined brush stroke, that I don't have um, 
very much control because when, when I do that, I get a more artistic feel. So I, I put my paper towel down and I pulled up, the, I wanted it to be kind of smooshed and mashed and I love the effect because there were certain areas that kind of came up with the paper towel and it looked like an old vintage photo. Oh my gosh. So now I'm like, okay, now I got to do this some more because <laughs> I just loved it. So now I'm going to come in and add my darker colors. This I'm using a sap green. It's a uh, fluid acrylic by DecoArt. Sap green is dark, 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 almost a black in some cases um, because I needed to have some more definition in the background because it was really flat now. And um, I wanted to add that depth and some shade, you know, light source kind of thing. Um, and so I'm using that sap green to kind of further bring in some shadow and some shade and to really start defining those leaves. So now I had to figure out what I was going to do with this bottom because those stripes were kind of ridiculous. Um, but I wanted some stripes. I wanted it to be fun. And so um, I, when I painted over it, you could still see the kind of the stripes in it. I thought maybe I could use that. Maybe I could do a wipe away kind of thing and still see the stripes. And I wasn't real happy with that. So I'm gonna just add some additional color and shading to get you know the shading and light source and that kind of thing right. And then I'm gonna have some fun. And I'm mixing gesso and that yellow ochre in that the tabletop color there um, to kind of bring down some of that yellow from the top and to the from the vase to kind of blend everything together. And then I'm using um, one of the DecoArt grays, I think it's zinc, and some gesso to add some shado sh shadow. So since I wiped all that away and painted over that, I, I still wanted those drips. I still wanted that fun. So I had to come back in and add my drippy drips. It was a back and forth. It was a dance for sure. Okay, so now I found my, my stripes. So this is an, a party napkin. This is just a napkin. I have peeled it. I've, you know, there are three layers in a napkin and I have peeled it apart and I have the single layer. And I, I wanted to lay it down to have the background show through. Plus, I could 
tear it and make it feel real random and kind of um, torn and vintagey. And I positively loved this, loved the look. It was fun and unpredictable and happy and, and still a little grungy and yeah, I, I just, I love it. It's like this piece has sophistication and um, whimsy all in one. So I'm going to just tear some of those pieces back um, so that the drips that I just put back in um, are there. And I'm just tearing little bits and pieces so that it looks really random. And of course, when I did that, I took off the part. So I put it all back together and um, let it dry and um, was able to see my drips and, and kind of accentuate them a little bit. So now I am going to really add my definition and my fun and um, define those leaves a little bit with my charcoal pencil. I'm using a General's charcoal pencil and this one is not extra soft. This is actually the um, next step up a soft um, because the softer you go, the wider and darker it can become because it's so soft and you can really kind of smudge it very easily. Um, a hard one would give you a very light and narrowed and um, defined line. So I wanted I wanted some grunginess, but I wanted it to not be as soft as my regular charcoal pencil, so that I could get a few um, def a few defined lines, but not too much. Grabbing my soft pastels, and um, they just are the the perfect um, thing to bring to the party. Uh, they just add the color and um, there's just no risk involved. If you don't like how it looks, you can just wipe it up. And so I'm going to go back and forth between my soft pastels and my charcoal pencil. My charcoal pencil is going to add definition in my flowers as well. I will use my soft pastels to add the light um, in, the, in the flowers and the leaves. I hope that you stop over to the resource library and grab your free print of this and I hope that as you um, watch this video you are making notes of what stencils you would like to, to get since today is the um, stencil sale and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the week with all of the giveaways and all the sales and all of those wonderful things. Birthday week is such a fun time. Um, to connect with everybody and um, be able to give back. So I'm just going to continue to add shading, light and darks. I will add shading around my vase um, with soft pastel. I will add shading around the piece and that's really it. You're just going to watch me kind of finesse the rest of the piece together here. Lights and darks and kind of finish off the shading around the vase and that kind of thing. And that's it my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for all that you do for me. Um, and I hope you get some goodies in the sale and subscribe and like if you enjoyed today's project. And um, yeah, I will see you next week.